Hey everybody, welcome to the Mothman Jones Movie Channel. I'm your host, John Maffio, of course, and I'm going to cut right to the chase. Star Wars Celebration 2017 is seven days from now. Wow. And to celebrate that notion, and also to celebrate just Star Wars in general, being a fan of Star Wars, I want to count down my top seven favorite moments in all Star Wars history, only including the movies and TV shows, because if we get into the books, the comics, the video games, it gets too broad and crazy. So, I don't want to waste any time getting into it. I'm so excited to bring this to you guys, but I spent a great amount of time making sure this list was right in this moment of time for me. There are a lot of moments in Star Wars that I cherish, admire, and love, but it had to be condensed and consolidated down to seven specific moments or scenes. And I finally came up with that, and there's going to be one video a day, every day, leading up to Star Wars Celebration next Thursday. So without further ado, let's get this party started with my number seven moment. Enjoy, guys. When somebody mentions Clone Wars, the mind can go to many places, whether it be Obi-Wan's mentioning of it in the original film. You fought in the Clone Wars? Yes. I was once a Jedi Knight, the same as your father. The prequel film that built up to it, but never quite showed it in its true form, or even the animated series that starred Ahsoka Tano. But does anybody remember the Clone Wars series that ran on Cartoon Network in the years leading up to Revenge of the Sith in 2005? Well. If you didn't, it's led by the genius behind Samurai Jack, and this miniseries featured several of our favorite prequel characters propelled by genuinely beautiful 2D animation. There were many memorable moments in this now deemed non-canon run, but there is one scene that truly hasn't left my mind since the day it aired. General Grievous was pretty lacking and unimposing in Revenge of the Sith, but this original Clone Wars series showed just how formidable he was as a Jedi killer before he developed a bothersome cough. <coughs> Jedi scum. In one of the last scenes of the show, Jedi like Ki Adi Mundi, Shakti, and Elias Sakura take him on, but it's not your typical fight with lightsabers. There is a massive amount of tension that builds up toward a terrifying crescendo, where it looks like the Jedi are absolutely no match for Grievous. They basically get their asses kicked and a few characters die in such gruesome ways, especially for a Cartoon Network animated series. It's a scene that administers a sense of fear that is rarely felt in any show or movie, let alone a Star Wars product. It may not be canon anymore, but I love this scene and always will because it's so well executed. This show is definitely worth a watch though for any Star Wars fan, especially if you're looking for greatness that may have been lacking in characters in the films like with Mace Windu and General Grievous, for example. The movie may have made him look cool, but this show taught us to never cross paths with the General unless you're looking for a path towards suicide. <laughs> 